The markets are in a free fall. This is Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Monday, August 8, 2011. We had this huge symmetrical triangle. And we've been watching this forever. Choppy, 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 choppy. If it broke out, we go long. If it breaks down, we go short. And this is a dream come true. It breaks down and just falls straight down. Now, when I say a dream come true, I'm talking about just those individuals who read tactical analysis and follow the tacticals as they happen. This did break down, has not looked back. A couple things that I'm looking at here is the candlesticks right here are getting longer. You can see this, an expansion of the trading ranges. You see this? Small, small, medium, 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 large, medium, large, larger, huge. So we don't know where this bottom's going to be. We closed. We we did not have a shadow at the high. We opened and went straight down and closed at the low. No shadow right here. You see that? Look at this. Dow down 635 points. Boom to the downside. Look at this. Down 5.55% in the red. The S&P down 666. Look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable. NASDAQ down almost 7%. Russell's down almost 9%. Gang, there's very few times in your trading life that you will see days up or down like you saw here, like you are seeing today. I'll tell you, folks, there is blood running in the streets. Volatility is off the charts. VIX is up 40 Nine plus percent. The VIX just not too long ago we're at the twenties. Now we're at forty seven seventy seven. Gold all time high up three point three percent. US dollar, believe it or not, up even after the standard and pours downgrade. Unbelievable. And crude oil drops huge. Down 7.2%. It is a train wreck out there right now. I'll tell you, our government here in the U.S. needs to get their act together, get these, get this debt under control, rein in spending immediately. I'll tell you, we need... We need we need a change because the policies that we're seeing now is not working. Not working at all. However, now listen, my heart does break for all those out there who are long the market still. And you're thinking, oh man, should I be in the market still? Should I hold? The answer is when you are dropping down, things going down or going down, you need to protect your capital. It is better to be in cash right now than hoping for a bounce. Be in cash. Don't hope for a bounce. We don't know where the bottom is going to be. Could this bottom tomorrow and then rally straight up? It could, but what are the chances of that? Things dropping are dropping. So, like I said, again, we have an ex an expansion of these trading ranges. Do you see that? That's no good. That is horrible. Now, mind you, we did have a downgrade take place that helped this expansion here. It will be really interesting to see what tomorrow brings us. Now, I do have some very important support levels I would need you to pay attention to. 1117, 1099, or right at 1100, 1094, 1065, 1046. Those are our next levels of support. Gang, this goes back to September, September of 2010. All the gains we've made in a solid year flew out the window. Gone. And it happened within nine of the last 11 trading sessions. Some analysts are saying that gold will actually arrive. Neener says gold will rise to $2,500. 
you know, a lot, there was people saying not too long ago that gold, you know, make it to 1750. <laughs> Man, we're knocking at that door already. It is crazy. Gold right now at 1714. Oil, oil right now per, um, per barrel, $80.85 the time of this video. And looking at sectors, all sectors, all of them are now down for the entire year. Oh, a bit I've just forgot the oil is now at an eight month low. Be quite frank, it's not so much about the downgrade, it is the euro. I'll tell you, Europe is in real trouble. There's a lot of bailout stuff taking place over there right now. But the Europe, you guys all over there listening to this video now, you need to get your act together too. There is some significant changes that need to take place. Tomorrow, August 9th, we have the Fed coming out with their rate decision. It would be really interesting to see what they do at 2.15 tomorrow Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, you know, they're expected just to stay pat, but it would be interesting to see um, if they give any sort of guidance or opinions or thoughts about what's taking place out there. And uh, President Obama tried to instill some calmness into um, – the markets today, but right after he talked, the markets just took another nosedive. So, be interesting to see how things play themselves out. Retail sales coming out on August 12th. We'll be watching that for sure. And I did some live futures trading. Uh, if you want to see my live futures trade, and I did a couple trades, uh, just click on the futures tab. And watch that video. You'll enjoy it. Take care and very safe trading out there in the markets.